Hey everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop here with the M Tiger Sports DS Trail running headlamp. Probably one of the best uh, trail headlamps I've seen on the market for a long time. So before I get into it, there's a lot to unravel with this one. So we'll get straight into what you get in the pack. Da -da -da -da. First of all, comes all nicely packaged in this uh, neoprene soft case here. Uh, everything's got a spot in here for it. Um, it's got a nice insert, but you can obviously take all that out down the track when you put it all together. The headlamp itself actually comes separate to the head strap. So it's probably one of the bulkiest head straps I've um, sort of seen on a headlamp recently, but being a running headlamp and a, like a trail running headlamp especially, the bulkier the better I find. This just sits really nice on your head. Um, there's no movement at all and just being bigger and wider it's a lot comfier than sort of some other work straps or just general headlamp straps being that bulkiness yeah you're going to get comfort for long runs short runs tough terrain runs anything like that comes with a sort of a separate dual 18650 battery pack here at the back you also obviously got your charger as well so it comes with 240 volt charging cable you get your remote switch, and I'll show you how to put it all together shortly. Uh, and you also get your user manual as well. You may not have heard of M Tiger Sport headlamps or torches recently, but um, yeah, they make some really, really quality uh, products that are just made to sort of do the job that they're after. Uh, this being a running trail headlamp, comes with sort of uh, two lens types at the front here. You get your spotlight on uh, the left here and sort of a really nice floodlight on the right and join them together and you just get a really nice beam pattern um, to run around with. Now putting it together I uh, put it all over the back so back battery pack just sort of slips straight in here it's really nice tightly secure being in sort of a silicon case it's not going to rattle around or move around at all. This switch here has got velcro goes over the top it's also got these little elastic runners here which you can put the cable through um, but for right now I might just put it straight on and they're all sort of waterproof seals as well so they screw right down and you're going to get no water in there at all um, no matter what so Falco switch then the battery pack just sort of connects like that so they sort of have it when it's all fully connected i've just got it going straight over the top of my head uh, i found that that was the easiest you could probably go around the side uh, if you really wanted to but i just found over the head it was the easiest operation when you were sort of moving around a bit all you had to do was reach up and just press one of the plus or minus uh, at the front there being on a GoPro mount at the front as well, uh, it's fully adjustable, so you can have it fully set back um, or all the way down, and that's just really, really easy to do. They're sort of everywhere, these GoPro mounts, super uh, functional, and you know that that's not gonna come loose or fall off. Yeah, it looks bulky, it looks big, but when it's on your head, uh, it's actually super comfortable to wear. I'll just put it on mine. I kind of thought that the back battery pack was going to move around a lot more than it actually did. Um, it didn't move around at all. Uh, didn't matter how sort of jumping up and down or how crazy the trail is. You're not going to worry about it yeah, bouncing around or doing anything like that. Uh, yeah, my first impressions were it was a big, heavy, sort of overcumbersome headlamp, but putting it on and using it for what it's designed to be used for uh, was yeah, a real treat. Huge amount of output, like I was saying before, there's 1800 lumens coming out of here. It's like having like a big bike light at the front. Um, it is just really nice beam. So not only can you see at your feet, you can get some good sort of 60, 70 meters easily uh, down the trail as well, especially with that spotty TIR lens that you kind of get on the front there. 
it's great yeah to just see penetrating distance through the uh through the trees through the shrubs and just see where you need to go down the trail so it's got four modes uh giving you the max mode being that 1800 lumen output so you can't pick pick and choose it's both uh both leds are going to come on at once so you get a 10 percent output mode which is going to give you about 12 hours off that battery pack at the back that amount of output is easily enough to sort of walk around with run around with at night then it jumps up to 40 percent uh, again great output that's when you sort of start to see a lot more in the distance uh, and yeah a lot more at your feet as well then you go up to a 70 percent output uh, and that's when you sort of hit that marker of being able to really sprint around see everything in your way further down the trail as well um, you could comfortably sit at that 70% for um, quite a while, your whole run, and you, that's more than enough light output, I found. Then you jump up to your 100%, so your 1800 lumens. You're going to get about an hour and a half on that. Uh, so, yeah, loads of run time. And uh, for anyone that's doing your heavy trail running or just good running at night, uh, it's definitely worth having. I think the reason why you sort of get lights like this for trail running is because they want to split up that weight. So you either get a running headlamp that's really, really small at the front and compact, and you might get a really small battery at the, at the back. So not super light, but it's really lightweight, um, which is great for short runs or sort of runs around the street where you might already have light. This one is really designed for sort of off the beaten track, sort of in trails, where there might not be any light at all. They made it really balanced really nicely with having the split battery pack at the back, not being too heavy, but yeah, just really comfortable to wear. And uh, you're going to have no dramas with this sort of, doesn't feel like it's going to fail at all. I mean, all the components, all the parts are just well made. Good bracket on the battery pack, um, nice mount at the front, all solid plastic. So, I mean, yeah, it's absolutely going to stand the test of time. The interface is really easy. It's just got a positive and negative, positive towards the front, towards the headlamp side. So it's just a quick tap and you just cycle up that way. And as you can see that that is super bright and you can notice that it's not too spotty in the middle, uh, even though it is a spot beam uh, and flood beam, they just mix really nicely. And there's your negative and then it's just a hold to turn off so interface is really easy uh, and which is what you want from a trail running headlamp you want to be able to just quickly reach up press fiddle around uh, and get the right one straight away you don't want to be stopping taking your headlamp off and figuring out what the go is if you did though don't have to point anything out here they light up blue so even in the dark you're going to be able to see which one's positive and negative so overall i mean yeah it's one of the most comfortable trail running headlamps i've worn purely because of how built that strap is headlamp strap is and just how impressive that output is out of the front m tiger yeah keep an eye out for them because they do make some great products they've got some great bike lights headlamps yeah they've really got it all so if you're in that extreme headlamp sort of trail running market definitely worth a look at one of these i don't think you'd be disappointed at all drop a link to the m tiger sports ds trail below you can check out that whole m tiger range there like i said they've got some great products so definitely worth a look thanks for watching this one please feel free to like subscribe we've got new content coming out all the time so don't miss out and catch you on the next one